Now we're going to talk about what is a good mindset when approaching strategy meetings, right? Because strategy meetings we covered is, is a big deal. And now we're going to cover three points on what type of mindset you should have when you approach it and, and the employees as a result seize it based off your mindset and your actions, right? So the first one, first one is, is, is simple. You, you treat the strategy meetings like a big concert. It's like a big performance, like the NBA playoffs, right? No, no, not even that. The NBA finals, or you think of it as Olympics. You think of it as a big event because the more you think of it as something so important, guess what? You, you're, you're going to do your research. You're going to get a little nervous, which is okay, but you're going to do something. There's a concept called peak performance, right? And peak performance means you're performing at your highest level. And yes, you'll fail sometimes, and you won't have always the best strategy meetings. But the point is that you'll learn from it each time. And so when you put yourself in peak performance, you're growing. You're stretching your compliance and business skills more and further and further. In addition to that, you do your homework. You research because you don't want to fall flat, right? If you're in the NBA Finals, you don't want to suck. You want to do well. So you prepare, you practice, you get in the right mindset. And so when you think of strategy meetings, it's so helpful as, as a big performance, a huge performance, right? Then, and, and that you would be judged for, then, then it's going to change your behavior a lot, right? I've seen a lot of compliance professionals try this, um, try it before thinking of it like a big performance, and they feel flat. They're like, let's do it for the sake of doing it, right? No, that's not how it works. If you want strategy meetings to be very effective, you ought to be intentional. If you're collecting context, and you're supposed to guide employees to behave in, a, in an effective way, not being intentional about it, not being in the mindset where this is this is so important and it matters so much. And you're thinking, oh, this is just like practice or this is just nothing, right? This is just another meeting. No, it's not another meeting. It's a strategy session, right? It's a way to get you more context and your employees to be more effective. As a result, your company thrives and the organization and the people that's working with your organization also benefits, right? Huge benefit in all multiple ways. So, so the first one, think of it like a big performance, right? Big concert. I, I, I think that's very, very important. The second one is that you, you ought to think about how the skills you develop through strategy meetings last for the long term, right? You use it here at the company you're working with. Great. That's amazing. You help the company. But it also works in the, a different organization. And it also works at, at, at a home setting. It works at, you know, a small pop shop, a big corporation, nonprofit organization, your church, your temple, all the different organizations. When you have people together, strategy meetings work, right? Why do they work? Because it's human behavior. What you're trying to do is give value. And that's the third point. The third point here is that you ought to think of the mindset of value. If I always say this to, to employees, and, and I'm upfront with this, I say this to employees as well as compliance professionals. If the strategy meetings are not valuable, if the strategy meeting doesn't provide anything of value, then we stop, right? We stop it. We don't do it. We don't want to waste our time. I don't want to waste my time. You don't want to waste our time. So that's what you do. You and, and you make that commitment to your mind, and you tell your employees. And we're gonna get in the nut and bolts on on how the strategy meetings work, but then you want to get that mindset. Well, this is a big deal because it is a big deal. Exchanging knowledge and information is a big deal. But not only that, you're not just exchanging the knowledge. You're also using it. That's why we said action earlier in the other other uh, course, right? We said action. Attention. You get the attention. And then now the next step is action. And you're developing that with employees so that they're more effective. They like it. They go, oh, I see you. I see you, Donald. You're a person of action. And, and as a result... You know, when I have a concern as an employee, I go to compliance because I know what they're about. And they're about attention and action, but not only that, strategy, right? And they like that. They feel trusted. They feel assured. And, and that is a skill set that will last you for the, such a long term, well beyond just this course, right? And this is why we're excited about it, right? So, so that is the mindset that you should have before we get into it. The next course, we're going to get right into it.